ever heard about greenhouse effect? Did you know that gases in our atmosphere help control the Earth's temperature? Greenhouse gases, especially carbon dioxide, collect heat energy and hold it in the atmosphere. That's what keeps the Earth warm. This is called greenhouse effect. How does the greenhouse effect work? Most of the sun's energy that reaches the Earth is in the visible light portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. Part of this sunlight is absorbed by the Earth and held as thermal energy. Another part is reflected back into the space. This heat is then irradiated in the form of infrared radiation. While the dominant gases of the atmosphere, like nitrogen and oxygen, are transparent to the infrared, the so-called greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide, methane and water vapor, collect some of the infrared radiation and keep the Earth warm. We need some of greenhouse gases. Without them, it would be so cold for animals and plants to live. Due in part to the warming effects of greenhouse gases, the global average temperature is about 15 degrees centigrade. Without these gases, the global average temperature would be much colder, about minus 18 degrees centigrade. But people are adding extra greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. Whenever we drive a car, use electricity or make a product in a factory, we need energy. Lots of this energy comes from burning fossil fuels like oil, gas and coal, which produces carbon dioxide. How do you think extra greenhouse gases affect the amount of energy trapped in the Earth's atmosphere? It's very simple. Extra greenhouse gases trap more heat, which makes the whole planet warmer. This climate change will not be without consequences. Rising temperatures means melting glaciers and rising sea levels by addition of meltwater to the oceans, which will cause increase in coastal erosions and floodings. Warmer sea surface temperatures will result in stronger tropical storms. While high temperatures will produce more rainfall across the globe, the regional rainfall patterns will change. Some areas will get more, some areas will get less. Rising temperatures could lead also to the extinction of more than a million species, including polar bears. These are scary news for humans, because our existence depends on the existence of other species. What can we do about global warming? We cannot stop the rise of carbon dioxide in the near term, but we can slow it and therefore reduce the consequences that will occur. All in all, we must ask, have we the right to disturb the nature? Are we going to disappear due to our own ignorance? Is there any future for humankind?